Hi guys, Louis doing his flexing again. I'm 56 years old and I've been on the carnival diet for eight months. Anyway, I'm gonna try and motivate you, maybe inspire you into helping you live longer, feel healthier, lose weight, reverse medical conditions like type two diabetes, pre-diabetes, maybe to help your arthritic pain or any inflammation in your body. Cause yes, eating the correct foods will transform how you feel, how you look, how your future is affected. It will clear your mind so you can think properly without getting foggy and confused. Now, if you've found my channel, my videos, you're looking for a reason. You're either very unwell, or you wanna lose weight, or you've got medical problems like type two diabetes, or autoimmune problems like ulcerative colitis, or IBS, IBD, Crohn's, or you're just looking to change your life, where you found the right channel, and you're very lucky because there are a lot of very good channels on YouTube, very good, with doctors and scientists and many very experienced people on the carnival diet and on the ketovor diet. Anyway, let's talk about the problem. We are letting food govern our lives. So we wake up in the morning, we're hungry, we go and get a big bowl of cereal, probably chocolatey or sugary, that's made with grain as well, that it's just bad for us. It's causing inflammation throughout your body, but you've been told that it's not bad for you because you're eating from the pyramid of food that is recommended around the world. And this could include grain, it could include chocolate and sweet snacks, snack bars, then obviously we have fruit and veg and starchy vegetables like potatoes. You're eating bread, whatever color it is, it's bad for you. Rice, whatever color it is, it's bad for you. And then you've got large pasta dishes, which are just bad for you. Remember, almost all of these foods turn to sugar. Sugar really harms your body, can also cause cancers. It can cause problems in your arteries, the clogging of arteries, creating plaque and calcium, which can bring on a stroke or a heart attack. But sugar does a lot more damage than just that. Sugar causes so many problems through your body, it's unbelievable, but you have to do your homework and look it up. But here's what my point is. Around the world, we are all addicted to the craving of eating and putting something either sweet in our mouth or something that our body has got used to and has become addicted to, like fast foods, pizzas, spaghettis, um, just anything you crave for. So it's lunchtime, you've already had a few snacks, and then you maybe you have a jacket potato with um, beans as a topping. All of that is bad for you, all of that is gonna cause problems for you. And then between lunchtime and tea time, you have a few snacks, snacks that are recommended to you, like light snacks, low fat snacks, cereal bars that have got the word either keto or healthy written on them. It's all a lie. None of these products are healthy. They're all full of chemicals. It's ultra processed food. None of them are good for you. Don't believe a word. The food that is good for you is natural food like meat, red meat, any meats, eggs, and then cook it with a bit of butter, a bit of salt, only drink water, stop drinking any fizzy drinks or orange juice, it's very bad for you, it's full of sugar. These are the things you have to change so that you can live longer and regain your health. And if you're on medication and you're running to your doctor every five minutes and you're blaming everyone else, you're blaming the world, or you think that you've caught these illnesses, because I'm telling you now, you haven't caught these illnesses. You have done these illnesses to yourself through putting stuff in your mouth that is harming you and poisoning you. So stop thinking, oh, I'm getting older, this is why I'm getting ill. No, 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 no. You're putting the things in your mouth 
that's causing problems. That's giving you inflammation and causing many other problems, which is making you very unwell, which makes you run to the doctor. And the doctor only gives you things to soothe the symptoms. He won't give you anything that cures you. Trust me, he will give you what he feels will quieten you because even doctors don't fully agree that meat and eggs, fatty meat, are good for you. Because a doctor will tell you that fatty meat will give you problems with heart attack because it's full of cholesterol. Even though the truth is, cholesterol is really, really good for you and helps fix your body. Don't believe any of the myths that people say about cholesterol. It's completely untrue, but you need to do your homework. All this bad cholesterol and good cholesterol, it's a load of rubbish. Load of rubbish. Just ask yourself, why am I getting ill? Why are all the people around me getting ill? And I'm talking more people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, because there is way too much illness around. Why are so many people dying of cancer and getting illnesses in their bodies that are unusual? There's no real reason for it. It's just for some reason that people are getting ill they don't understand why, they're going to the doctors, the doctors are giving them loads of medication and they just get worse and worse and worse. Why? Why are you constantly hungry all the time? Why do people constantly feel hungry? At tea time, you'll have a massive meal, most of it not good for you, but you think the food you're eating are good for you because we're trying to copy the recommended guidelines to eat grain and bread and rice and fruit and veg, not too much meat, not too many eggs. This is the guidelines. And a lot of these things are causing problems for us. There's problems with vegetables. There's problems with fruit. Oxalates are in vegetables and fruit. And this can cause inflammation so that you're aching all over and you've got pain, as well as your uh, bowel problems, you know, or your, your bowel movements or things like that. What I'm trying to say to you is that something's going on. Something's going on in the world where the whole world is getting unwell. They think in America, I think I'm pretty sure it's something like one in three are gonna get type two diabetes or pre-diabetic. Come on, doesn't that make you think what is happening? If we're all eating to the correct guidelines that are recommended, um, why are we all getting ill? Then we move on to the addiction. So we're also addicted to the sweetness of foods, of chocolates and sweets and cakes and all the stuff that we absolutely love. I'm, t I'm centering on sweet things now. And every time you eat a sweet thing that you love, your dopamine gets released and it loves it. So then you're addicted and you're craving more of it. And then you get to the point where you literally cannot say no. You walk past something that is sweet and tasty looking and you want it and you'll say to yourself, I'm not gonna touch it, but you know that you will go back to it. And if it's in the house, and you've gone to sleep and you know that that sweet product, whether it be biscuit or um, chocolate or sweets or cake is in the cupboard or in the fridge, you know at some point you're gonna give in to your willpower and you're gonna go and get that food and you're gonna eat it and then you're gonna go to bed. Same goes for crisps, yeah, Doritos. You'll munch on them and then you'll go to sleep, and then all of that food's inside of you, causing harm. Anyway, I've waffled on for ages. So to bring it all down to what I'm just gonna say now is that we are all addicted, we are all constantly hungry, we are all getting very unwell, we all are all looking at dying younger than we should be, we don't feel good, We've lost our health, we're blaming it on our age or the fact we've settled down and it's not good enough and you need to all kick yourselves and go, I am going to save my life, I'm going to live longer, I'm going to live a healthy life at any age, especially when you're older. I am 56 years old and I feel like I'm going to live to 100 because I've changed my diet. Meat, eggs, fatty meat, I cook it in butter, some salt, some water, Use your fat that comes out of your meat to cook with. It is so full of goodness and nutrients and vitamins. Everything you could ever need is in this very simple carnival diet or keto ball, keto. That allows you a bit of freedom and throw away all the fizzy drinks, alcohol and learn to love yourself 
And I'm telling you now, within days of changing how you eat, you will feel better. And I challenge you, and this will show you how difficult things are. I challenge you to not eat foods that are bad for you for one day, for 24 hours. And I know that 95% of you will fail this challenge. That tells you what I'm trying to say to you, that we are addicted. Anyway, I've waffled. Thanks for listening to me. I'm going to give you another flex. Remember, I'm 56 years old. I shouldn't look like this at 56, should I? I should have a big fat gut, a big fat face. I should have loads of illnesses and I should be worried about having a heart attack and I should have type 2 diabetes. That is where it's all going for the world. And we're going to change it by changing what we put in this mouth. No more poison. All the best to you. Sending you all love.